Well, hello, YouTube. I know it's been a long time. It's been about a year, but um, I couldn't stay away forever. So I decided to make a video. This is just going to be some horror books that I've been picking up over the past year and some collections that I'm working on. So we're going to start this off. Uh, don't know how many views I'm going to get. I, like I said, I haven't made a video in about a year almost, but um, we'll see. So this first book, this is uh, the Dark Shadows special. I think this came out in 1980. And um, I, I bought it basically for the cover. I was hoping for a lot of cool co color pictures inside. Um, it's just uh, a Files Magazine spotlight. So inside is like a bunch of black and white pictures from the show, uh, things about the characters and the cast and the writers and everything, but pretty cool. Um, I am still working on collecting all of this issue's uh, books with Alan Moore, so that probably tells you what this is if it's a horror st stuff. Uh, this is the Saga of the Swamp Thing number 27. I got this from a shop near me that uh, always has some very nice books with uh, very good prices on them. Uh, another Saga of the Swamp Thing. This is number 29. And I think I need maybe seven or eight more issues in the Alan Moore run to complete that. I've got all the expensive books. Just need a couple random ones. All right, this is a series that I've been working really hard on last year and this year. Um, I think I need about 30 more issues or so. This is a Ghost Rider number 26. And I picked this copy up a couple months ago. I was uh, on a little road trip dropping my son off up, up by Cleveland, Akron and Cleveland. And I uh, came across this really cool store. I posted on my Instagram a while back, um, but I picked up just a couple things from them. This one I did not get from there. This is uh, Ghost Rider number 31 with uh, the Bounty Hunter on the cover. And I have read all these issues. It's kind of weird because I'll, I'll get a random issue and I'll read, you know, reading it out of order doesn't make a lot of sense sometimes, but I read every issue as I get it. Uh, this is Ghost Rider number 40. Got a bunch of Ghost Rider here. Like I said, I'm working on that one and I'm about 30 issues away from completing it. Um, this is Ghost Rider number 45. Ghost Rider number 51. Ghost Rider number 57. Ghost Rider number 59. This is a great cover. I got this one up at uh, a store as I was on that trip by Akron and Cleveland. Uh, this is uh, number 73 and number 74. So you can see I've picked up a lot of those. I got a lot more that I picked up since the last video you've seen, but for me anyway. Um, this one I picked up from a store I used to go to as a kid in Yellow Springs, Ohio called Dark Star. They're a bookstore and a comic book store. I remember my dad took me back there, or took me there when I was really, really little. Uh, this is Chamber of Chills number 10, beat up copy. I only paid three bucks for that. And then this is another series that I'm working on finishing up. I think I need three or four books for this. I, I can't remember how many. Uh, this is the Frankenstein Monster number 15. And we're going to get into a couple of magazines. Uh, this is Cr Cracked Collector's Edition number 17. I think this is from 77. I can't remember. Th these are really cool because this is a monster issue. It's just got a whole bunch of cool stuff in here. Uh, in the cracked style, in the cracked manner. Let's see if I can find a couple pages I like. So this is kind of something that they did in one of the Marvel magazines. Uh, I think it was Monsters to Laugh With, but they'll just put a scene and put a funny 
you know, a funny catchphrase or something. Um, plant this I showed on Instagram. I thought this was cool. So this is their take on Planet of the Apes if it had happened to be a planet of any other animals. So we got the horses. We got skunks. Dolphins. Ants. It keeps going. We got the bulls. The pigs. The frogs. The cats. The tigers. No dogs. I didn't see the dogs. Oh, here's the back of the cover. I thought that was kind of cool. There's the front again. I got, uh, they had another issue that was similar to it. This is a crack collector's edition from September, 1979. And here on the front, you can see some of the universal monsters. Like I think that there might be Dracula or Igor. I think that's the wolf man. Over here's uh, the Bride of Frankenstein. Down there's Dracula. It looks, I don't know, it's hard to tell. <laughs> Let's take a look at this one real quick too. Here's the inside cover. Some Howl Makers. I love these old magazines. I love Cracked, Mad, King Kong's Boyhood. Look at that. Oh, this is a great picture right here. Look at that. Let me put that away. Continuing on with a couple more magazines. Um, I do collect Creepy, Eerie, Vampirella, everything. So this is Creepy number 41 from 1971. And this is Eerie number 31. Not sure of the year on this one, but it's got these Cthulhu looking monsters on here. Like maybe they were servants of Cthulhu. Then we got a Marvel magazine. This is Marvel Preview Presents Blade the Vampire Slayer. And this has a first appearance in it, I believe. Uh, I think the character's name is Afri. I can't remember the name, to be honest. How many of you out there have seen, and this may be a spoiler, but have seen Deadpool Wolverine. All I gotta say is, I loved all the characters that they showed in it. There were some special guest appearances in it. All right, now these next few magazines are a little bit harder to find, at least around here. Um, I don't see them. I go on trips a lot and I hardly ever see these, but uh, this is Psycho. This is a Skywald magazine. This is Psycho number 12 from May 1973. And then this is Psycho number 16 from January of 1974. Little old me would have just been two years old at the time. And this is one of my favorite covers by Skywall. This is Psycho number 18 from May 1974. And I know if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen some of these already, but man, I love how that eyeball is hanging out. This is like a big puzzle picture. Another uh, Skywall publication. This is Nightmare number seven from 1972, June. I would have been about six months old there. And then this is the 1974 Nightmare Summer Special. It's got a great Dracula cover on it. Look at that. I'm guessing he's either about to turn her or she's already one of his 
concubines. Look at all the skulls and skeletons in the back. All right, just two more books. Um, these are cool books. These are actual comics. <laughs> this one's the key. Uh, I got this a while back. I don't even think I showed this on Instagram. But uh, you may or may not consider this horror. I do. This is Hulk number one with the first appearance of Red Hulk in here. I can't remember what I paid for it, but I didn't, I, I did not pay. I got, I got a really cheap copy. I'll put it that way. It's about half the price of everything else out there on eBay right now. And here's my last book. Uh, this one, I think I paid like 40 bucks for this, 40 or 50 bucks, maybe. It's been so long now, I can't remember. But this is uh, Journey into Fear number 18 from March 1954. I've done a little work on this to keep the cover together. I used some, uh, uh, what is this? Document repair tape on a couple pieces, like right here on the spine. They just want to come off, so you can see there are some tears there i i sealed those up with uh some uh document repair tape and then this wanted to come off but i wouldn't let it <laughs> but yeah that's a really cool issue i would take it out and show the interior but getting it just how it is in there was kind of hard so i don't want to take it out and and do any more damage to it or anything but man i love that great skull cover looking at the lady in the red dress who will soon be in distress. So that's Journey into Fear number 18. Another one to add to my pre-code horror collection. And uh, speaking of pre-code horror, Mike has, Mike Night Tiger has been sending me pictures of all these great books. Uh, go check out his stuff on Instagram, man. He's got a, he has picked up a lot of cool um, Atlas horror recently and some other good horror, but He's killing it. I wish I could get these deals before he does, but uh, he's one of the masters of eBay and uh, swiping on my comic shop. But anyway, thank you. If you uh, if you came by and watched my video, I really appreciate it. It's been a long time, but um, I kind of wanted to do something. I've been wanting to do something for months now, but just haven't really got into the mood. So I figured. I'd show a couple of my horror books that I've been collecting and uh, say hello to everybody. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Leave me a like. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of what I got. Bye.